guys, welcome back to another video. And today, I was on YouTube, like, a few months ago. I didn't, well, not today, like, a month ago or so. Um, I saw a, a video about a supersonic rubber band whip. So, you, apparently, they, you, this rubber band chained together and there's a string at the end. You can do that. It makes a really loud noise. All right, I'm going to try it. Before I get into this video, make sure to like and subscribe and leave and click the bell for latest videos. And let's just get started now. Okay. So first you need like two rubber bands. These are I mean they could be thick. These aren't. It's better if you get like thick rubber bands that are not these neon ones. Okay, so what you do is you take these, if you, you take two rubber bands, then you would take another two, and then, so what you do is you have your two, all right, okay, I can't get this off my finger, all right, so you got these two, you're gonna put it under so it looks like this, then, so it's like that, and then you're gonna, it's kind of hard to explain this, but you will put that in here. So it should kind of look like this, and you pull it, tie it, there you go, now it's chained. So then you're gonna do this for the next like five but at the end i'll show you something all right so i'm gonna go chain these together and i'll show you what's next all right so when i said there's something at the end so i chain these together and instead of putting just two rubber bands i actually put three on i chained three on because we're gonna tie our string on there so it's a bit more durable and it, so it doesn't, the string doesn't like snap off and break the rubber bands off so easily. And you can actually add as many rubber bands on this as, as you like. So really you can add like five on each. So yeah, usually I would add five different chains, but this one I was from some rubber bands short. So now we're going to get on to tying the string on. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to put it like over this, all three rubber bands. Then you're going to do just a simple knot, like tying your shoe. And now you got your little knot there. But you don't just do it once. You can do it like, you should do it like three, four times maybe. So I'm going to do it four times actually because I don't want it to break when I'm doing the test all right so pull it really tight all right one more time it's getting really short that is one of your problems it's gonna hard tie that way all right so <clears throat> yeah you don't really have to cut it doesn't actually matter so now I'm gonna take this and I'll show you how to hold it. And also, when you're doing the string, you need about four feet. So then you could get a really good one. Because cotton, actually, this string, if you can see it, little pieces actually come off of it. Focus, please. Whatever. It... Little cotton threads come off of this, which actually make it shorter by very slowly, and the piece just fell on to the table. You can actually see it. Oh, there it is. So, it came down on me. All right, so I'm gonna get into the test of this, and sometimes what I do is actually tie a little knot up here so I can just hold that knot. And if you're gonna hold it, you're gonna hold it like, the knot right here. Then, yeah. All right, so you're gonna do that next. 
All right, let's get into the test. All right, so this is a, this is not exactly a firing test. I'm just gonna do this. So pull in this little knot I made on the rope, the rubber band, and then holding this knot on the rope and kind of touching the rubber band. All right, let's do this. Wow, that's loud. Sometimes I just snap it at the ground. It's kind of loud. Either way. Oh! It's going really fast. It's supersonic. I don't know why I'm shooting at the camera. Oh. Alright. This is what it feels like to die. Okay. Alright, so I've shot this many times. It's actually really loud and fun. Especially if you do like this. Like... Just hit the ground. Ow! It hit me. God! Oh! Yo! This is cool. That really hurts. So this is cool, but kind of dangerous. So. Um. I don't suggest doing it near your face. I kind of like suggest doing it like this. Ooh, oh wow. Well. And kind of wearing goggles maybe, safety glasses. Yeah, this hit me in the face. It hurts really bad. All right, so that's it for today's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the bell for more videos. And we'll see you in the next, we'll see you next time. Bye.